the three drawings that are in the show are from the sort of final works in a series that began with some very humble sketches in 2012. Those sketches began with the idea of how to investigate systems or orders that were different in kind and then how they interact with each other. So there's so many metaphors for that in contemporary life, but I really wanted to focus on what the terms of engagement were with different systems, like where they conditioned each other, where they would override or ignore each other, and see if I could evolve that into a vocabulary to base a group of large-scale abstract paintings on. So those two orders became a kind of metaphor for the binaries or the dualities that structure our, our life world. As I drew, I, I would just like watch for what emerged from my concentration. I developed that over about a five year period. And then the drawings that are in the show are from the last group I did in 2017. In Pharaoh, Pharaoh, when I was working on the drawing, I saw this creature at the bottom of the drawing that looked like a scarab or a tarantula. At the same time, it was just a series of marks in oil pastel. So I called it Pharaoh for the Egyptian, and then Pharaoh, which is the root word of iron, because these words sound similar, but their meanings are not related. So I considered that those two words um, bear the same kind of relation to one another as the markings do to any kind of image that one sees in them. It's there, but there's no equivalent. The numbers at the beginning of the titles refer to the algorithms that structure the grids um, that are the initial layer of the drawings. Like laying out of these grids is a complex process that grounds all of my work. It occupies a kind of extreme logic within the whole project. In this order, there are only parallel and orthogonal lines and the distance between the lines is based on an iteration of a harmonic progression. So that's what the algorithm is, is the harmonic progression. So the intention is to create a complex space for reflection and meditation. And they work by allowing the viewer to follow the rhythms like in the drawings that are in the show at the Leech Gallery right now the rhythms of the engagement between the different orders open up this multitude of metaphors on which we can reflect on the current conditions. So it's not so much what it looks like, but what kind of thoughts come into our mind in looking at it. I think in order to receive anything from works of art, we must quiet our minds and open ourselves to unknown experiences. The things that are familiar don't challenge us, even though they're very comforting. And at this time, I feel like we all need support to make the transition that these events are asking us to make. So the practice of quieting the mind and listening to the universe, which is what much of the work in this show will benefit from, really helps us to meet the unusual demands of our daily life.